Hey there guys, today I'm coming to you with a short video about my new 2011 MacBook Pro 15 inch model. I've made the big platform jump and nobody could be more surprised about that than me. But having used an iPhone for the past three years I've become very impressed with Apple and their product design philosophy and execution. I mean, the great thing about the Apple iPhone uh, is it just works and really the same uh, can be said I've, I've come to learn about uh, their computing devices like this MacBook Pro. Um, <clears throat> I've, uh, I got it earlier this week, ordered it directly from Apple and uh, really really extremely impressed uh, with this device. Uh, I have loaded it up uh, with software as you can see here in, in this area they call the dock uh, which is kind of like a quick launch toolbar uh, for applications. Uh, if you're an iPhone user, some of these <clears throat> some of these applications may seem uh, and their icons may seem similar to you. Like the system preference icon is the same on the iPhone. Uh, if you've got <clears throat> Safari, of course, on the on the iPhone, is, that icon is the same. So there, that uh, for me, that's helped bring the learning curve down. I've been drinking from the fire hose this week, trying to learn everything I can about the Mac OS, and it really hasn't been that hard. For years, uh, Apple and and uh, Microsoft have been kind of running at each other, uh, and their operating systems kind of converging with uh, features and capabilities as one one operating system gets you know has a good idea, the other one tends to adopt it. So that's that's helped to reduce their learning curve as well as the fact that you know what we do with a computer is so web centric now. Uh, when I'm using Firefox, for example, on uh, on my Mac, uh, boy, just look how fast that loads. This machine is so fast. Uh, but when I'm on the internet on Firefox here on this Mac, it tends to lose. Uh, it tends to look about the same as it does. Uh, you know when I'm on uh, a PC, so that's that's reduced the learning curve. Uh, you know, one of the things that's uh, there's just so many little things that have impressed me. Uh, if you look at the uh, hard drive on this machine, uh, you know when you order a, a Windows-based uh, machine and you order a hard drive, say 500 gigs of space. Well, after the file allocation table. Uh, and, and you know the hard drive is formatted. You you lose quite a bit of usable space to that file allocation table, uh, usually on the order of 10 percent or more. But as you can see, the usable capacity here on this drive is 499.76 gigabytes. So really, not a lot of space lost there at all. Uh, it's almost all usable. And uh, you know I've got 431 gigs you know available to me, and that's after installing just a ton of software. If we go into the applications folder here, you can see I've got the entire uh, Adobe, um, uh, Adobe uh, uh, Premium Production Suite here, I think is what it's called, but it includes uh, uh, Photoshop CS5 Extended, uh, Premiere Pro, um, we've got Illustrator here, we've got some Flash development tools, Adobe After Effects, um, you know, Encore. Uh, a lot of great, great tools for doing both photo and video work, so I plan on, on uh, really diving into uh, doing a lot more video work, which is one of the reasons why I upgraded to this suite. Uh, and of course I've got a bunch of uh, add-ons and plugins for Photoshop from Nick Software and from On One Software. I've got their whole photo tools uh, professional suite here. Uh, really great stuff. Maybe I'll do some videos on, on some of those uh, later on. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've, I've got this loaded up with a lot of software and I'm extremely imp impressed with it. Uh, so much so that I've, uh, I've ordered some cables and a, and a little docking station. This machine's got uh, 8 gigs of, of RAM, uh, that 7200 spin hard drive, 500 gig. There's no reason I can't use this as my main machine, so I'm going to try to dock this to the uh, monitor on my desktop and see about using this machine as, uh, uh, as as my main system and completely making that transition to the Mac platform. So I'm pretty excited to, to continue to dive into this and I'll probably uh, you know in the days and weeks to come give you some updates on what's going on but uh, you know again with this 
this laptop has the new Sandy Bridge architecture. If you're not familiar with the Mac Pro line, there's the 13, the 15, and the 17 inch. Uh, the 13 inch model has some reduced uh, hardware in it in terms of uh, its capabilities, but the 15 and the 17 inch, you have the same options for performance, just the monitor size is a little different. I went with the 15 inch so it would be a little bit more travel friendly uh, for when I'm on a plane because I tend to tend to fly quite a bit. Uh, but uh, you know, it's it's just a real premium machine. Uh, it was more expensive, probably about six hundred dollars more expensive than a comparably equipped Dell. Uh, but you get what you pay for. Uh, prob probably, uh, you know, the the biggest oh wow moment for me is after I installed all the software. Uh, uh, I went to install our new uh, color laser printer uh, that I have downstairs in our wireless network on this Mac and when I did it on the Windows machine it took it, well I couldn't get it to work and I had to call a buddy of mine that that uh, works in IT and it took him an hour to get that printer working on our uh, wireless network with our Windows machines. With the MacBook I went to find printers, found it immediately, connected, installed, three seconds. I mean it was a breeze and that, that's just the way it is when, with, when you try to connect with Wi-Fi or just whenever you do anything with this machine it just works. It's what I call the it just works factor with with Apple. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Lots more coming. Uh, take care. God bless. And we will see you in the next video.